Hey guys, welcome back. So yesterday afternoon, we had a bunch of rain, sleet, ice mixture. So everything here is covered in ice this morning. So it's fairly slick outside. I need to go ahead and finish the rest of the animal chores. I already fed the ducks. Now I need to go in here into the barn and uh, let all the animals out, make sure everybody's got food and water. Good morning, everyone. My hands will be freezing after this, but it needs to be done. The chickens get their water pretty dirty. Probably because they scratch so much, kick up the dust. These heated water buckets, I think, has worked out for the best for us, at least for chicken water in the wintertime. You're not supposed to lay eggs in there. Get out of there. Today, you see that? My cup wants to slide off of there. Scout, where you at? There you are, come on. Well, I think today is going to be the coldest day out of my three days off. So uh, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do today, but uh, I definitely have quite a few little things I need to do. So here's one thing I need to do. This little Saturn, this is what I drive back and forth to work every day. And I ended up with a flat tire right after I left the house one day and uh, need to get that fixed. You know, always get comments. Why don't you park your vehicles in the garage? Well, this is why, because it is completely full of material in here and I've only got one open bay right now. Um, so that's why I don't park the vehicles in the garage. And this is all, you know, wood and insulation and stuff, you know, so that I can finish the workshop in here. So people noticed in one of the last videos that we do have insulation. I've got, I was short a little bit, so I need to finish that and then we'll finally start putting the wall up over here. And the tractor is still apart and I haven't got the parts cleaned up yet. So I may work on some of these parts today, getting these clean. Well, I don't got a lot of kindling made up. This is my little chopping block area. Or I'll just split some of these down a little bit. And when I swing through, at least I'll hit this wood, not the concrete. At least that's the idea. So for my birthday, Rebecca got me this ash vacuum. Um, and it was really meant for the pellet grill, so I could clean out the pellet grill. But I've been using it to scoop out the, the ash in this stove. This hasn't burnt for a week. So this is all cold. So, it's, so inside this vacuum, it actually has this really big filter. So this is just like one, I guess it's like a bag. It's just a big filter. I haven't been even close to being full yet. Of course, this isn't meant to be dumped inside, I'm sure. I'm making a big mess. For my small
smaller kindling. I just like these cutoffs. Except when you hit a knot, you got to kind of work around it. gonna go ahead and shut this up and uh, go inside and get something to eat. All right, I've ate my breakfast until the fires burn down a little bit. This is the last of my firewood. I'm gonna have to go get some more. We'll go ahead and start with the tire and right there is the culprit. Some kind of screw that I drove over. See if we can get some vice grips on it. Oh man, that's longer than I thought it was. Boy, there it is. Just gonna put some cement on both sides. See if we can get this to go down in there. <clears throat> These are not easy to get in sometimes. All right, it's in to where the cement is. I'm gonna pull her back out. <clears throat> All right, now let's let that dry a little bit. We'll cut this off. There we go. That's good, we're gonna get it. <laughs> well, the lug nuts are froze on. I have to spin them off with this. There's ice, ice covering them so much I can't get the the socket on. I bought this car back in 2012. We were doing the Dave Ramsey plan, getting out of debt, and uh, the car I had went transmission went bad in it. And I ended up finding this at a Chevy dealer for uh, $6,000. Had 90,000 miles on it. I've had that now for yeah, just over just over 10 years now. That's $600 a year for a car. That's pretty good, I think. I think that's a win-win right there. Um, you know, probably don't see this car much on the channel. This is why I drive back and forth to work on a daily basis. And then I use the truck around here when we're doing things. But this is my daily driver. I need to get it back working again. Gas prices are going up. Let's put it on high. I'm gonna let it down a little bit so I can actually torque the bolts. No, nope, I don't have a fancy torque wrench, but this works. Maybe one of these days, I'll get a better one. I think I'm crushing all that ice that's behind the wheel. It just slowly keeps going. Definitely have to check this again once it warms up. I worked in a tire shop working on tires for about two years when I was in high school. We wouldn't have put a plug in the tire there, we would have patched it. But I honestly did not want to have to take the tire off the rim and wrestle a tire today. So I took the easy button. All right, I definitely need to get that done. So now we're going to move on to getting some firewood. Rebecca came out to, to help me. So we'll get the tractor fired up and see if we can get firewood at the house and in the barn. And uh, with two of us, it should be pretty quick.
But well, Rebecca's decided she's gonna ride the tractor on the back of the ballast box. She thinks it's the perfect place to sit. She's got the top link to hold on to. That's the way she wants to go. We're gonna go slow. How's the ride? Fun. Fun. All right, now, if you lift up on that lever right there, it'll raise you up, not that one, that one. Yep, yep. There you go. Pull down to let yourself back down. So this wood stove does have a built-in blower, or a blower came with it. You can see it, it's back here. We'll turn that on. It's not very big, it doesn't move a lot of air. And this stove, this back part right here, this is a built-in heat shield. And then that blows air in that cavity, and then it comes out right here at the top. It doesn't move a lot of air, but hopefully it's, it'll make a little bit of a difference heating up the room. Well, while I got Rebecca here helping me, um, I think we've decided to go to the back of the barn where we, we opened up the back of the livestock barn and we're gonna go clean that out. Since we got the bucket on the tractor, we'll pull in there. We'll try to get the rest of any of the wood and trash and concrete blocks that are in the back of that barn. We'll get those cleaned up.
Well, I think we're done cleaning up the back of the barn here. This last load with the broken pieces of concrete, we're gonna put that in a ditch right underneath the pasture fence. Try to fill up that gap between the fence and, and the ditch and plus keep it from washing out. Alright, it's 46 in here. Got to throw more wood on the fire. So when I started doing the chores today, I didn't realize Rebecca was going to come out and help me. So we've been needing to clean the back of that barn out for a while, so at least we got that done today. Yeah, and we need to because the cows are coming soon. Yes, we actually went and she, Rebecca picked out the three steers that we're gonna be buying. She picked them out last weekend. Yeah, one of them's name already has a name and it's Fireball for a reason. So you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> and, he's, and he's a pretty friendly steer as well. So Rebecca was actually petting on him and uh, he was pretty friendly. So she definitely had to have him. But we're getting a total of three steers um, maybe this weekend or next weekend. So we're getting them here pretty soon. So um, we need to clean that back of the barn out. And then we also, there's a few other things we need to do to get ready for them as well. We're gonna either put up some gates or some stock pan stockade panels, you know, just to keep the, the steers uh, where they can't get inside the barn. Uh, because they did that last time and there was cow poop all in the water buckets and everywhere in the barn when they got in there. They ate the turkey feed. I don't even know how. They're so big. I don't know how they even moved around in there, but somehow they got in there and got turned around, got in the turkey pen. Yeah, they, they pretty much <laughs> knocked everything over in the barn and got into everything. So mm -hmm. uh, definitely want to make sure we keep the steers out of where the livestock stalls are. Yeah. So the inside of the barn it's 46. We still need to get it a little bit warmer, I would prefer. I think we're going to go ahead and break and have lunch. And then this afternoon, I'm probably just going to clean tractor parts. See if I can get a lot of these parts all cleaned up and ready for paint. But I think that's going to be it for today's video. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Give me a hug. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Oh, careful with your paws. <laughs> Cindy, you're too short to give me a hug. Come here. Give me a hug. Come here. Come here. She's like, pick me up. Hold me like a baby. That's what you want. Oh, you're all wet. No, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, there you go. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs>